First Chronicles chapter 7 The sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jeshub, and Shimron, four. The sons of Tola, Uzi, Raphael, Jeriel, Jamea, Ibsam, and Shemuel. Heads of their fathers' houses, namely of Tola, mighty warriors of their generations, their number in the days of David being 22,600. The sons of Uzi, Israhiah, and the sons of Israel, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five of them were chief men, and along with them by their generations, according to their fathers' houses, were units of the army for war, 36,000. For they had many wives and sons, their kinsmen belonged to all the clans of Issachar, were in all 87,000 mighty warriors enrolled by genealogy. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Becher, and Jediah three. The sons of Bela, Esbon, Uzi, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Eri, five heads of fathers' houses, mighty warriors, and their enrollment by genealogies was 22,034. The sons of Becher, Zemri, Joash, Eliezer, Elinoia, Omri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anthonoth, and Ahlelema. All these were the sons of Becher, and their enrollment by genealogies, according to their genealogies as heads of their fathers' houses, mighty warriors, was 20,200. The son of Jadil, Bilan, and the sons of Bila, Josh, Benjamin, Ehud, Chenisha, Zetan, Tarshish, and Azekiah. All these were the sons of Jadil, according to the heads of their fathers' houses, mighty warriors, 17,200, able to go to war and... Shupim and Huppim were the sons of Ir, Hushim, the son of Aher, the sons of Nephtali, Azil, Guni, Jezer, and Shalom, the descendants of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh, Ashriel, whom his army and concubine bore, she bore Machir, the father of Gilead, and Machir took a wife for Huppim and for Shupim, the name of his sister was Maka, and the name of the second was Zelopha, and Zelopha had daughters, and Maka, the wife of Micah, bore a son, and she called the name Perish, and the name of his brother was Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Rechem, the son of Ulam, Bedan, these were the sons of Gilead, the son of Machir, son of Manasseh, and his sister Hamalachat bore Ishad, Ebiezer, and Mala, the sons of Shimada were Ahaniah, Shechem, Liki, and Aniam. The sons of Ephraim, Shutala and Bered, his son, Tahat, his son, Eliad, his son, Tahat, his son, Zabad, his son, Shutala, his son, and Ezra and Eliad, whom the men of Gat, who were born in the land, killed because they came down to raid their livestock. And Ephraim, their father, mourned many days, and his brothers came to comfort him. And Ephraim went into his wife, and she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Beriah, because disaster had befallen his house. His daughter was Sherah, who built both lower and upper Beth Horon and Uzin Shera. Rapha was his son, Reshef his son, Tela his son, Tahan his son, Ladan his son, Amenahad his son, Eliasha his son, Nun his son, Joshua his son. Their possessions and settlements were Bethel and its towns, and to the east, Naran, and to the west, Gezer, and its towns, Shechem, and its towns, and Ea, and its towns, also in the possessions of the Menasites, Beth Shin, and its towns, Tanak, and its towns, Megadu, and its towns, Dor, and its towns. In these lived the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Amna, Ishva, Ishvi, Beriah and their sister Sarah, the sons of Beriah, Heber and Malkiel, who fathered Beerziah, Heber fathered Japhlet, Shomer, Hotam, and their sister Shua, the sons of Japhlet, Pasach, Bimal, and Ashvat. These are the sons of Japhlet, the sons of Shemer, his brother, Rohag, Jehuba, and Aram, the sons of Helam, his brother, Zopha, Imna, Shelesh, and Amal, the sons of Zopha, Shua, Haranefer, Shaul, Beri, Imra, Bezer, Hod, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira, the sons of Jether, Jephaniah, Pipsa, and Ara, the sons of Ula, Ara, Haniel, and Rizea. All of these were men of Asher, heads of fathers' houses, 
approved mighty warrior chiefs of the princes their number enrolled by genealogy for service in war was 26,000 men.